I did a horrible job of nailing that. You gonna find us some gold? I'm finding gold. Hey, we found gold at Home Depot the other day. Yeah, two by fours. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey! What have we got going today? We are gonna build some walls. What do you think? Build some walls for our shed that we're building. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Norm, this is Kim. Yes. And we are building, right now we're building a shed on our off-grid property, kind of getting things started here. We got the, uh, what, foundation finished yep, yesterday? And, I, and I'm kind of excited to put up the walls, except for that's going to take away my hula hoop platform. <laughs> our and, dance platform. And our <laughs> dance platform. So I have mixed feelings about this. Yeah, so if you want to see the dance platform, check out the video <laughs> listed in the in the top there. Let's get to work. Alrighty. Ah, ow. <laughs> I did a horrible job of nailing that. Let me show you. Look at these nails. That one and that one. And two down that way. We get Kim out of the way. Or two more down there. Horrible. You know what? I always like it when he makes the first big mistake. Well, it's not a big mistake, but it's fixable. It's but flexible. No big but deal. Yeah. All right, we got that wall done pretty quickly. We, we need to put the top plate on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut three and a half inches off of each end because that those walls need to overlap at the top plates. And that'll give us the, enough room for the two by four, which really is three and a half. Three. And now with all of our muscles, we're gonna stand this thing up without tipping it over. Wish us luck. Ready?
Well, what do you think? I'm excited. It's been a long time since we've done a building project. All right, we got two walls up. That's yeah. pretty good. We probably should have got all four, but... We're learning as we go. We've found out that lumber, the lumber is kind of squirrely. Yeah. So. It's uh, our our 10 foot two by four actually was 10 and a quarter. So that messed us up a little bit. And a lot of, we picked out the straight boards that we could find from right. Home Depot. And I, I don't, you tell us what's the best way to keep them from warping. They've been sitting out in the sun. Maybe that was a problem. Should we have a, have a tarp over it, but they've warped, they've twisted and that's causing us a little headache, but we'll get it. No yeah, big deal. Yeah, no big deal. So. We'll get it. And I'm just excited. We'll get these other walls up and... Yep. So that's not the end of the video. That's just... Uh, oh, no. Oh, end no. Of, end of end today. End of today. <laughs> yep. End of today. We're going to go in and get some supper. Yes. So, all right. Sounds let's go. Good. Gonna find us some gold? I'm finding gold. Hey, we found gold at Home Depot the other day. Yeah, two by fours. <laughs> today. We've got two walls built and we've got two more to go. Two more to go. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get both of those uh, completed today and we can then move forward on uh, sheathing and, and roofing and all the other things all, that we have to do. All the other things. <laughs> yeah. But our goal today is get two more walls done. That should be easily accomplished. Let's do it. <laughs> Best laid plans. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. All right, we've got the two by fours all laid out, ready to go. Now we just need to get our tape measure, measure them off for 16 inches on center, and then we'll be good to start nailing them together. All right, I got the tape measure. Square, pencil. Oh, and look. I have my very own hammer now. It's wonderful. If it's good in my hand, I'm gonna go to work. Helps if we have the generator going. Okay, try number two. After a little technical difficulties, our uh, generator was in overload mode because we still had it in the choke on. And so our com air compressor was not running and we didn't have enough air to shoot the nail. So we try again. And a miss. Lost my helper. We're putting two nails in on each one of these. I think that's the right number. Let us know.
getting sturdier. Well, maybe today we're gonna to make a little bit more progress. We didn't make a ton of progress yesterday. We had some friends come over and then we ended up having dinner together and just ended up being a short day. So we only got one wall up. We need to get the front wall up today. And that one is going to uh, be a little bit more challenging. It's got the door on it. And so let me show you behind me here. You can see we've got the three walls up. Now we're gonna work on the door and trying to figure that one out because this wall is gonna go 10 feet high. The other walls are eight feet, and then this is gonna give us the slope going down. So I'm trying to figure out how do I tie in the 10 foot wall to the eight foot walls. Um, so it's just a little bit different and we'll get to figure it out. But man, the weather has really changed. You can see I've got two layers of long sleeves on. It is cloudy and cold. And last night we had some amazing clouds come through and uh, just a phenomenal lightning storm. I didn't capture any of the lightning on video. That's hard to do. Um, and then we had rain overnight. And so, yeah, I'm glad, glad I have my, uh, my shelter for my expensive saw. It protects that from the elements. And we want to get this... Uh, closed in. We've got our grandsons coming in another week, so uh, we're going to be off playing a lot and not working on projects, so we've got to get busy on this. So today, get going. Get this front wall up. Maybe get the, the roof rafters installed. Uh, that's another... i got to figure out how to do that. Um, so, that's what today is. Oh, a little bit of sun. That'd be a welcome. The, uh, the studs all uh, marked off on where those are going to go. Now I'm going to make the header for the door. I'm going to have a six foot door. So what I'm going to do is I've got this two by six. I'm going to cut two uh, six foot long sections. I'm going to uh, put those together with a half inch piece of plywood in between. So inch and a half, inch and a half. That gives me three. And then I need another half inch to give me the three and a half. So it's the right thickness of the uh, the studs. So, making the header right now. Six foot, two of them. Four, five, six. And I gotta get my generator going. That's where I can have some electricity. Just trimming up this really old piece of plywood. It's going to be a filler in between the, uh, the two two by sixes on the header. It'll work just fine. Right now, I'm just cutting off the ends that were bad so I can start with a clean piece. I know, can you see it up behind me? It's getting it's getting pretty cloudy and looking a little nasty. We may be in for some rain. All right, let's get these uh, this header, door header, put together. It's going in between the two two by sixes. And yeah, it's a little bit long, but I'll trim that. That's, that's the bad end. Get this on here and get it lined up. And so we're making like a sandwich. That rain's gonna be here any moment.
and a couple on the other side just for good measure. Seriously, today is July 17th and it's 57 degrees out. For all you people that are sweltering somewhere else in the country, we're not sweltering here in Northern Idaho. We've had some warm days, but not today. And there we are, we got the header done, not too bad. All right, we need some bracing to hold this front wall in place. And typically I would want to do that using screws because screws, then I can back out and get it out easier, but we didn't buy any screws. So I guess we're going to nail it. We just need some support. Maybe the second time is the charm. <laughs> I don't know what I measured the first time, but it was not right. Can you get me the uh, the square so we can check this? You mean you mean the level? <laughs> yes, that square, the level. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I call that level the square all the time. Bro. And you're always getting after me for using the wrong terminology. Well, as I should, because you but, need to call it the right thing. But well. Okay, I'm going to get after you. <laughs> All right, could you please get the, the level for me? Yes. All right, thank you. Pretty 
that darn good down here and up there. Perfect. We are level. <laughs>